Who is the loved one? Allah. Who is Ar Rahman? Allah. Who is Al Manan? La ilaha illa Allah. Muhammad Rasulullah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنتديا لولا أن دان الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولا ولا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا نبيه ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اسكر في جن المايتي الله اجين شيطان يا كوست ابيجين ذا نيم اوف المايتي الله ذا موست مانيفيشنت ذا موست ماسيف ابي ا ويتنس اس اي اولويز دو ذات ذير نو بودي ذات ديزيرفز اني فورم اوف ووشينج اكسبت المايتي الله هو از اور كرييتور اور سستينر اند اور نوريشر May the peace and blessings of Allah be on the leader of mankind, the last prophet of God, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his apostles, and all those who follow this right path. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you are welcome to yet another edition of our program, Islam in Focus, powered by the Muslim Media World Group of Nigeria, a body set up. to ensure that correct information about Islam is given, misrepresentations are corrected, and to stand as mouthpiece for Islam in Nigeria, especially through the mass media and the social media. In today's edition of our program, we're going to discuss a very important topic, which is Hajj 22, matters arising. And this topic, comes about as a result of the fact that Hajj was not able to be performed in year 2020 and year 2021. This is occasioned by the fact that we had an international health emergency known as COVID-19, which prevented the gathering of people, whether in smaller number or in large number nationally and internationally, especially a garden that will not allow distancing, physical distancing. And while performing Hajj, you know how it used to be. Therefore, Hajj was not possible for two years. This interregnum was the first of its kind at least since I was born over 67 years ago. We now believe that now that Allah has answered our prayers by removing COVID-19 and all type of COVID from our lives, Hajj resumes this year, inshallah, and very shortly in the next three weeks or one month. Preparation for Hajj has started pilgrims for Hajj from Nigeria and Africa and the whole world have started moving to the Holy Land. This is the reason why I've invited an Islamic scholar who is also an intellectual, a very intelligent youth who has committed his life to service to mankind and Almighty Allah. Join me in welcoming my guest tonight, my brother, Dr. Dan Juma Mahmoud of the University of Illori. Dr. Mahmoud. Assalamu alaikum. wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thanks for having me. Alhamdulillah. Marhaba bikum. You are most welcome to the program. You have heard the topic we have chosen tonight. And my cutting razor in opening the program as a question for you is a Hajj is an institution in Islam and in fact is one of the pillars of Islam, the last one. Now, how important is it, and who are those who should perform Hajj? Thank you very much, uh, our Father. I'm happy to, to be among the, uh, those who have chosen 
to be your guest on your regular program. Come back to Allah and continue to strengthen yourself. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa jami'i wa wala. Viewers at home, the question is all about Hajj. How important is Hajj and who are those expected to perform Hajj? Uh, Hajj is, uh, the, is the pillar of Islam, the fifth word. For that matter, and uh, it is very, very important. It is as important as salat, mm. as important as zakat, mm. as important as belief itself. Mm. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wadhim fil nas bil hajj. He commanded Ibrahim to call on to people to come for hajj and, and uh, witness the bounties of Almighty Allah, mm. which He has bestowed on human being. Then he promised it to him that uh, they will come from every nook and cranny of the world. And uh, in, in an higher in Quran, Allah says, Woman Kafara, whoever that, uh, that is capable of performing Hajj but fails to do so, Allah says, He is richly independent from anybody. Which means failure to perform Hajj for whoever that is able capable, healthy, is tantamount to kufu, mm. disbelief. So it is wajib, it is compulsory. Every scholar of the world agree that hajj is wajib and failure to perform it leads the, failure, the, the, the person into kufu, mm. disbelief. Because it is among those things that if one's soul is terminated, mm -hmm. should be firstly taken into cognizance before burial. But before the administration of uh, distribution of uh, the estate, the estate, mm -hmm. we should firstly ask whether he was going to anybody. If yes, one third of his estate should be sacrificed for that. Then we we'll ask, has he performed hajj or not? Mm -hmm. If yes, no problem. If not, we we'll now look at it. Was he capable to perform, to perform before? Is demise? If yes, then before distribution of his estate, the money that can sponsor someone for her should be set aside. So that somebody will, will now go on, on his, his behalf, behalf. Yes. So for the reward to go to the departed. Yes. Because the source of fund with which he performed Hajj is from the departed. departed. So the person who performed Hajj on his behalf we also have a complete reward, a complete package of the reward. <laughs> Why the reward of the departed will not be decreased at all? Allah, Akbar. what we have explained so far shows us the importance of the five pillars of Islam. First, being believed in one God, yes, and that the only prophet is the last messenger of God. Yes, sir. Two, performing five times regular prayers. Yes, yes sir. Three, performing uh, zakat. Yes. I'm performing uh, uh, okay. well, uh, Ramadan, Ramadan fast, fast. and the last is pilgrimage. Yes. So Hajj is so important. Some Muslims are not aware of what you have said now that is as important as if you are able to perform Hajj and you refuse to perform, you have the fund, you are healthy, you have the ability, the road is okay, yes. and you are not uh, there's not any encumbrance, encumbrance that will not make you to perform yes. and you refuse to perform. After that, they should take from his resources yes. and sponsor someone before the distribution of estate. Is as important. And for the second question, sir, mm -hmm. there are those that are expected to perform hard. Mm -hmm. There are five like five conditions mm -hmm. that must be fulfilled okay. for any intending pilgrim. Mm -hmm. One, he must be a Muslim. Law. He or she must be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Two you know, the same. Okay. Three, he must have read, he or she must have reached the age of puberty. puberty. Four, he or she must be medically all right. Mm. The, 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 the sanity you are talking initially is about mental, mental alertness. alertness. Mashallah. This one is physical, physical general, and medical yeah. alertness. That's four. The, the fifth one is uh, ability, financial ability, and um, so ever, mm. and uh, condition of road, okay. and the the rules mm. laid down by the hosting the host country. Okay, uh, okay. Thank, to. okay. Thank you very much.
Now, many things have happened since the COVID-19 pandemic occurred. And now that pilgrims are already selected to perform the Hajj, before COVID, up to about 90,000 Muslims were performing Hajj from Nigeria. But for this year, the Saudi Authority has given Nigeria only 43,000 pilgrims. By the last message we got from the National Hajj Commission, headed by Aladi Dikrullah Kule Hassan, who is a citizen of Oshu and who has been chairman of Oshu State Pilgrims Welfare Board for about 10 years before becoming the national chairman of NACON, is that the 43,000 given to Nigeria has been exhausted. They have requested Saudi authorities to give more so as to cover the problem still agitating to travel. Now, what advice do you have for the pilgrims? Uh, yes, it's a simple Both advice. the old timers and the new timers. Uh, my advice to them is to accept the faith of Almighty Allah. Mm -hmm. And those that have been chosen should thank Allah mm -hmm. because they were chosen not based on their best uh, character. Mm -hmm. Allah just wanted them to perform Hajj. Is that of Allah's mercy? Yes, that of Allah's mercy. And they, they sh when, when getting there, they should bear two things in mind. One, they are there to serve Allah, not for any worldly activity. Two, they should not paint, they should protect the image of Nigeria. Mm. Because they are our Ambassador. ambassadors there. Mm. Whatever they do will be attached to Nigeria. Mm. I was there some time ago mm. and a, a driver was asking me, where am I from? I said, I'm from Nigeria. He said, but I heard that Nigeria is so rich. There is oil, there is everything. The mm. weather is good. I said, yes, mm. you are right. He now asked, that, why are those Nigerians mm. who are here to perform hard sleep by the roadside? Oh my God. Be be and get him begging. <laughs> I was there, I was a living witness where, where the Saudi police were arresting some Nigerians who were sleeping by the roadside, by the roadside and disgracing themselves and pretending to be physically challenged. Mm. They, 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 they arrested them and they exposed them to the world. Mm. I knew that, then I knew that some people can uh, twist their hands as if it is, uh, it, it is uh, mutilated. Freaking or, incapacity. Yeah. So it, I was so disappointed that some Nigerians are doing this. So they should bear it in mind that they are there to serve Allah mm. and to protect the image of their country. Mm. Then the third thing is to respect the laid down rules by the host country. They should not go where it is out of bound. They should not do what is not expected of them. They should not steal. They should not commit a, a fornication or adultery. And all other illicit act, uh, activities that make uh, come from human being. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Hajj is Hajj. There are some important duties that makes Hajj real. Okay. Can I just mention them so that pilgrims who are going on Hajj will know that of all the activities, I must not miss these three or four. Otherwise, the Hajj is vitiated. Yeah, yeah. You should know what vitiates Hajj. Mm. Yeah, because the essence of Hajj is to uh, to be admitted into a Jannah. MashaAllah. And the Prophet of Allah says, al hajjul al-Mabururu, they say that we deserve to left Jannah. Uh, hajj that is perfectly performed, mm -hmm. that is uh, void of uh, adultery, fornication, argument, fighting, corruption, the reward is solely al jannah hmm. that's the paradise the paradise sure then in another hadith it says whoever per performs hajj according to the christian teaching of islam no. will return home as if he's just a new baby Allah. so the concept of uh newborn hmm. and uh what was it called a born again hmm. Hmm. is also in islam Allah. Okay. whoever performs hajj perfectly according to the christian teaching of islam we return home as a new baby. Mm, mm. That is that means God will wipe that off all the sins. sins. It, all the sins will be expiated. It's up to him to now be keeping to the rules. Sinless life. Yes. Now you should know that uh, there is tawaf. Before tawaf, 
there is what is called ihram. Mm -hmm. Ihram is an indication that you are ready to perform Hajj. Mm -hmm. And it is not done until the time arises. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are not performing Umrah, if you are coming from Medina, mm -hmm. when you get to Zul Hulifa, mm -hmm. or it is called Abiyar Ali, that is where you will purify yourself, take ritual bath, then wear your gown, mm -hmm. the two white garments for, for males, and any kind of dress that is, is that is adhered to Islamic law for females. Okay. So in putting on ihram, there are things that are not expected of any muhrim to do, mm -hmm. any intended premium. Mm -hmm. There are like nine rules like that that they must not do. Okay. One, you must not cover your head with your cap or turban for males. Mm. Two. But females can do so, they will do they must do so. Mm. But the females will not cover their face. Mm. Those that use the cover at home, mm. when you are in the, in the state of ihram, mm. you, you have to leave it open. Yeah, leave it open. Yes, yes. Use your hijab Islamically. Mm. Two, you have to stay away from cutting your nails. Mm. Cutting of nails mm. is uh, prohibited while in the state of ihram. Mm. Three, uh, shaving or cutting the hair. You should stay away from that. Now, uh, another thing is uh, in, in the intended premium should stay away from putting on a sewn garment. Mm -hmm. A garment that is sewn. So your garment must be a free one. One top towel, one top one garment, and the other one to cover your nudity. Then it is also stated that. The intended premiums must not wear perfume mm -hmm. in, in any circumstance. It be natural. It's, yes. You have to yeah. be 100% natural. Yeah. Wearing of perfume is prohibited. Then, hunting is prohibited. It's prohibited. Okay. I'm not talking about fish, fishing now. Fishing now. Okay. Hunting mm. on the surface of heart mm. is prohibited. You must not hunt and you must not eat what is haunted. Okay. Well, some people like, uh, I wanted the, what is it called, Good, uh, bush meat. Okay. Don't eat bush meat while in the state okay. of Some of these instructions, mm. they will take more during the course of enlightenment yes. by the uh, preachers yes. and officials of the pilgrims board yes. uh, when they attend the enlightenment programs. Yes. So all the instructions they should follow them, yes. but specifically hard duties. Yes. The first, yes. the second, the third. Okay. That that makes hard. Okay. Let's One. quickly go into that because of our time. Yes. After the haram, you take your tawaf. Yes, Mashallah. Tawaf is very very important. Mm. That is circumambulation of of the eyes of Allah. Of Allah. Mm. Two, asai, mm. being a sofa. Well, marwa. That is uh, jogging. Between the months so far and uh, that of Marwa. Mm -hmm. Three, Al Arafa. MashaAllah. That was yes. been at the Harafa Ar on the day of Arafa. Yes, and at, at time. And that particular day, we that we are at home, at home we are supposed to fast. Fast. Mm. So it's recommended. recommended not compulsory, but it's recommended. It's highly rewarding. Mm. Because the day of acceptance of prayer. Yeah. Nah. So another thing is Romu uh, Yul-Jamarat, hmm. stoning pebbles, okay. stoning of pebbles on shaitan. Then the after last, leaving Arafah. After leaving Arafah on the day of Eid. Okay. So while we at home will be celebrating, we will be, we will be in heat or yes. scorching our arms. Yes. So you will be at Jamarat, stoning pebbles, throwing against pebbles the devil. against the devil. The last one is Tawaf uh, al-Ifaba. MashaAllah. So after you must have thrown your pebble mm -hmm. against Shaitan, mm -hmm. then you travel to Mecca and perform Tawaf al-Ifaba. That is like another circumambulation that gives you, that indicates that your Hajj is about to end. Thank you very much. You have explained our duties to us. And uh, as we are preparing for Hajj 2022, one of the instructions from the Saudi authorities is that pilgrims must not be more than the age of 65. Mm -hmm. Some people have been cut off because of this rule and uh, they will not be able to perform Hajj this year. If anybody tries to do anything to cover up the age, I believe 
is already walking to the way of committing sins. Just in a minute, just comment about the age barrier that has been introduced and uh, the admonition yeah, so, uh, to those comment, affected. My because that is the that, way Allah has put it. Yeah, my comment is that the Saudi Authority don't work uh, alone. They mm. work with a team of professionals. Mm. So, in, in a way to curtail the effects of COVID-19, they gave the age limit. And uh, it is not that the next in, in, the, in the following year, it will not change. Mm. It might change in the following year. But if you are afraid and uh, you are not sure of living to the next year, of course, Muslims will be thinking, if he wakes up, he will not mm. Uh, sleep at night. You, there is an opportunity for you, sir. Mm -hmm. You can perform Umrah in the month of Ramadan. Inshallah. Performing Umrah in the month and of Ramadan. And that has no age barrier. Yeah, 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 it has no age barrier. Performing Umrah in the month of Ramadan is an equivalent of performing Hajj. Inshallah. So you have the same reward okay. with the ones who have performed Hajj. But if you are, alhamdulillah, let's be pessimistic, uh, optimistic. That will live till next year, inshallah, and the, the rule will change, might change. So you can perform Hajj. Let's respect the leader rule. Thank you very much. You have heard the warning from my guest. Some people who registered and who obtained passport and are above the age of 65, never you try to go and obtain another passport that will reduce your age to 60 or so. You will be caught up that you are committing offense in Nigeria. Once a passport has been made for you, when else you go to the passport office to secure another one, your name and your record will show that you are already registered and your age is 66 or 67. Why are you telling us that you are just 60? So it's not good to lie. Remember, there are some people who did not perform Hajj, died. And Allah made them what you love. Masha Allah. That is the forgiven. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will enter the Jannah together with the Holy Prophet Muhammad, another prophet, and all of us. Masha mm -hmm. Allah. Viewers, this is where we are going to lower today's edition, the cutting of today's edition of our program. At this point, we must sincerely commend the National Hajj Commission under the able and dynamic leadership of. Barista Zikrullah Kule Hassan is a wonderful team that has been performing well since the inauguration of the commission about three years ago. What the commission has been able to do in terms of hard savings and all other innovations, including establishment of Hajj Institute in Nigeria, is highly wonderful. We pray to Almighty Allah that this their first Hajj who will be the best ever performed by pilgrims in Nigeria. And may Allah give them, the, that team, give that team opportunity to perform many, many hard operations that will put Nigeria in enviable maps, inshallah. Special thanks to our sponsor, our brother, our friend, the member of the Muslim Media Watch Group in Nigeria. Who does not want his name to be mentioned? May Allah reward him abundantly, answer all his prayers, and give him long life and abundant prosperity here and hereafter. Together with my guest, who by name is Dr. Mahmoud Danjuma from the University of Filoni, we thank you very much for watching this program. And together with my guest, we are saying, Wassalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh All praise is due to the one and only He is the master of all creation All praise is due to the one and only He is the master of all creation, he's the sustainer and the main.